We support Search for a Star because it means we get to meet people like you. We support Search for a Star because we want to help find the next generation of talent and great coders for our studio. We support Search for a Star as we feel this is a great platform for promising graduate talent to promote themselves and help them get their first job within the video games industry. The biggest benefit to entering the competition is to increase your employability. There are many students out there and many of them are desperate to get into video games, so you've got to give yourself an edge um, and the competition certainly does that. It gives you the things that you need, it allows you to show off your C++ code or your, your art skills and it also gives you the chance to have a finished piece in your portfolio um, or a published piece of work. We get to see some pretty decent talent before they come onto the market, so to speak. So it's almost like a Black Friday for, uh, for the games industry. With companies like ourselves, Sumo, um, our bar for entry is very, very high because of the calibre of games that we work on. We are looking for really that top tier of talent. So when students are able to show us that they have got that, uh, that, that X factor, if you like, that extra bit um, that, that really showcases their talent, their passion uh, and their desire to, to work in games, then, um, then it's great. And we're going to ask all of the people that get through to stage two of the art competition to create assets that could potentially go into the Unreal Tournament game. So the first time I heard about the competition was when a lecturer of mine sent out an email to all programmers of our course saying, hey, there's this competition, maybe you should check it out. Saw that the first one only took like an hour, so it was like, hey, why not? We wanted a competition that mirrored um, a typical game studio recruitment process. First thing that we did was just the standard one hour long C++ test. Because that's typically what coders will face when they go for their first, first job in video games. The second phase of the project was two week Unity project, so making a game. After that, luckily I got through again. And the, the last bit of it was going to the final day, which was the big day with loads of mentors and loads of industry people, where we got hammered by um, big people from the industry. I'm directly involved in the Citro Star competition as one of the judges. When you go out into the market, you are going to be grilled at interview by technical directors and technical managers from studios. For me, it was a checkup. I see if the skills that I learned in uni also align with what is required in the industry. This year, I went down there and uh, got to interview lots of people and lots of talent to see which one would uh, eventually end up being the winner. Luckily I was announced the winner of this year's competition. Straight after that, the week after, I already had about four interviews lined up in the same week. Um, out of those four, I actually got the four jobs. It was actually, the, the, the hardest decision was which one to pick after that. It was quite smooth after the competition. It opened me a lot of doors. Yeah, we've got both um, Sam Paris, the winner of the uh, Search for a Star competition, the graduate, and also Jan Noop, the winner of the uh, Rising Star competition. Uh, he won um, the opportunity for an internship here. They're both working under me on, uh, on the project that I'm on. Like a lot of people, they have to fear when they start an internship, they turn into the coffee machine barista. That's definitely not been my experience so far. The only coffee I've made was for myself. I believe he's working on a Disney Infinity project for the next generation hardware. Since I've been here at Sumo, it's all been very good. It's been really exciting working in new hardware straight away. Yeah, they've settled in nicely. They're playing games with the rest of us at lunchtime, as we do. Um, probably shouldn't be admitting that, but yes, <laughs> we're, we're, we're a computer games company. We like to play in our spare time. Microsoft supports Search for Star and Rising Star competitions because we want to see the best students. We want to see students developing real portfolios of real games which then have real consumers. So you go from being that student to an independent developer. I support Search for Star because it gives those of you with true dedication and ability for the platform to stand out from the crowd. It would help your CV to stand out in front of the masses of CVs that companies will receive for every graduate job. We get lots and lots and lots and lots of applications from people that say that they love games and it's their dream to make them. It's the ones that show us their personal projects, the stuff they've been doing in their bedrooms, as well as the university work, are going to be the ones that will end up working at places like Sumo.
you should take part in Search for a Start because you'll learn a lot and have fun. It provides an amazing, unique opportunity for students and graduates, which just wasn't around when I started looking for a job in the games industry. So we found this competition great for identifying the best graduate talent and have hired several talented graduates off the back of it in the last few years. That's what got me a job at Bolsarian. First phase is only going to be about an hour, which is no time at all, and it's a great way to check up on your technical skills. Definitely go for it. Um, it's a great opportunity uh, and could lead to your dream job. This competition gets you the work that you want to do. It's as simple as that.